All right, ladies and gentlemen. We find ourselves on the Cursed Hollow today. Someone was asking in chat if anyone plays Dahaka these days. And I was like, sure, people play Dahaka. And then I went and looked. I went and looked at his hero's profile to see what the prominent talents were today. And it's a whole different build than anything I would have done. Like the 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 Dahaka build from yesteryear seems to be underperforming. So at level one, we're gonna go for tissue regeneration. <laughs> it feels weird not to get the enhanced agility. It feels really strange. It feels super duper strange, but this is what we're gonna try. Also, I closed Hero's profile, so I don't know what the rest of the build is, but and we're just gonna go with anything I would have taken before we won't take now. So Dahaka, straight line skill shot on his Q ability is called drag. If he hits you with drag, you're gonna be, I think it's stunned and he can move you around. Isn't it stunned? Yeah, stunning for 1.75 seconds. And you're gonna be able to move them around. Twitch added this thing called the hype train. I just received a level two hype train emote. Thank you guys for your bits and your Twitch Prime subs and your support. I appreciate you. We are going to be going up against Akira, which should be totally fine. If she hits us with the lasso, we can. Oh, I want her to hit me with the lasso. Hit me with the lasso. Hit me with the lasso. Dude. Hit me with the lasso. Dude. Try again. Try again. Try again. Come on. You could do it. I believe in you. Dude, hit me with the lasso. Come on. Come on. Right here. Right here. Oh, oh, no. I'm running. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you come with me, dude. You come with me. So I actually got really unlucky that she decided to uh, go back in on the lasso right when I burrowed. I should have just been able to drop her off. Burrows are E ability, 20 second cooldown allows us to dig under the ground. Think of it as an ice block. Because that's what it is. Then we also have our trait, which is going to heal us whenever we collect essence. Can we gather more essence because of tissue regeneration? Maybe. Hey, nice hit, bud. So tissue regeneration is gonna be increasing our health regen per second. Oh, she's getting faster, dude. She's getting faster. You may think that I was losing this encounter, but in fact, uh, we're just full health and everything's fine. Yep, we're just full health and everything's fine. We're actually winning this no problem, dude. She can do whatever she wants, it won't matter. And now she's stunned. And then you get in front of her to stop the grappling hook. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Couldn't have done it better myself, honestly. Back in my day, the one who collects was the way to go, but there's people actually taking Hero Stalker. Increases the essence gains from takedowns by 100% and gain one essence each time an enemy hero is hit by Dark Swarm. Well, excuse me. Okay. Okay. Now, because we're Dahaka, we do have a unique mount ability. It's going to allow us to teleport anywhere on the map that has a shrubbery. Like, right here. Gazlo not getting the message that the objective was happening and the friendly team gonna be swooping behind him to secure the kill. Blaze and Kira showing up to the objective in Toronto not too far behind. So I just need to go in here and cast my Dark Swarm. And that's gonna give me, that's gonna give me everything that I need. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna try to stand in Blaze's way here, grabbing Kira, bringing her back to the team, hopefully for an easy kill. Diablo stunning her against the wall. And it's over, dude. It's over. Oh, okay. I'll zone this way. Don't even worry about it. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hi, Jaina. I don't like to grab right away. Like, I like to hold on to it a little bit just to make sure that I actually secure it, you know? Because I feel like once the Haka emerges, people are just expecting the taunt, you know? I like to, I like to wait a little bit. Yo, thank you for the 24 fucking months up. I appreciate you. Uh, I think at level 7, we're going to pick up Symbiosis. So it's going to reduce the cooldown of our Dark Swarm versus Heroes. And then that means we're going to just be able to spam the ability more. Which, which sounds pretty good to me. We've, compl we've gathered enough essence to stack up our thing f four times, which means our health regeneration is at 22 a second right now, which is really not bad. 
actually not bad at all. No, I wasn't expecting Taranda to be here. Yeah, see, yeah, I went for the drag too early, dude. Went for it too early. Diablo is respawning, so we could contest this if we get there fast enough. I was kind of debating whether or not we were going to go, but it looks like we're going, boys. Ariel with the interrupt, no problemo. We're just going to come in here and fuck around. I'm not looking to take too much damage. But then we zoned the healer away, and I guess I'll just take it. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We don't go back in on that. We don't go back in on that. So we have Diablo. Uh, I actually picked my character based on my team this time rather than the other way around. We have Diablo, and we're thinking of him as our frontline tank. So we're going to leave it to Diablo to really peel for our backline, or at least that's the plan. Whereas I'm going to try to be disruptive. We're going to try to be the bruiser and go in. Now, I am going for a pretty tanky build with this setup, I guess. So maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know. We'll see, dude. We'll just go ahead and heal again, grab this regen glow. Hey, if you could come up in melee range and just stand in this, it'll give me more essence, and I would like that. I would like that very much. Level 10 is going to be our next step. The enemy team's a little bit further ahead on that than we are. Not that I'm too concerned just yet. I'm more concerned about the fact that I don't really have a lot of essence at the moment. Whoever went that way is probably coming this way now. Did we just hang out here? I didn't see who it was. I just saw the golden ring around their feet. It was Jaina! Ariel going for the channel is going to be interrupted by the... Oh, beautiful setup into the wall. We're going to go ahead and pop our essence kind of early here. Get our Dark Swarm running against Taronda, getting stacks off of her. If the lasso gets hit on me, that's fine. We're not super worried about that. I'll go ahead and start collecting my essence now. Kira staying in a little bit too long here. We're going to drag her, bring her back towards our Lunara. Unfortunately, not going to secure a kill, but we get the objective. No problem. Gazlo, meanwhile, down in the bottom lane, continued to push and got that building. Good for him. We're never going to get any buildings ever. Next objective is going to be a curse for the friendly team if we're able to acquire it. Do we go adaptation? Is that the play? Oh, he popped Robo, dude. Watch out. He's taking 40% less damage. You got to be careful. I think we'll just go adaptation, dude. We'll just adapt a little bit. What could go wrong? Can he just trade against me if I just walk after him? Like, how does this work? I'm not really getting any faster because of this move, because of the shrubs, dude. The shrubs aren't benefiting me. I hate that, dude. I love enhanced agility. It's so good. I feel like I'm an old man just kind of moseying around the battlefield right now. You get back here. Get off my lawn, Jaina. Get the fuck out of here, dude. We're getting 43 health back a second, though. That's pretty good, dude. And it's only going to get better. Um, our Ariel's dead for no more seconds. She's returning right now. Maybe we can get a fast channel on this seven seconds before it's ready. I'm going to move down and we can try to zone these guys. I'll just stun Blaze here as well. Try to buy some time. We're going to go ahead and pop Adaptation right now. Burrow under the ground to mitigate some of that damage. And then pop our Essence as well. That does give the friendly team enough time to channel. But at what cost? Yeah, I'm getting out, dude. I think I think I'm just gonna get the fuck out of that one. Oh, maybe we go in on this. Drag connected. She's stunned. One in its 1.75 seconds. Is it gonna be enough? The lasso is out. Ariel is weak. Can she heal one more time? She can. And Lunara, meanwhile, chasing around the enemy teams. Jaina trying to secure that kill. I was right next to a very low health Taronda at one point there. We probably could have finished her off, but I was trying to be a good teammate, dude. I was trying to be a good teammate. We're going to head up to the top lane just to grab this XP. We don't want it to go to waste. It's still important, even though the curse is going on. Still very important to soak all of your lanes and make sure you're getting enough XP. Now, remember, every time you kill one of these forts, it is going to give you a passive XP increase as well. So if we could try to get as many of these tier one defenses down during this curse as possible, that would be very good. We do see the enemy team's Gazlo moving up a little bit here. Um, we're going to get Primal Swarm, which is going to lower the armor of anyone that we hit with our W ability. 
We're gonna go ahead and pop adaptation again with our collected essence. That's gonna bring us back up to full health, no problem. Dude, Dahaka is so fucking tanky with this setup. It's like people move in expected to do damage and then they, they get nothing. They accomplish nothing. Which feels kind of good. The issue is you gotta give reason, you gotta give people a reason to wanna focus you, right? So I have to make sure I'm being enough of an offensive powerhouse that they they have to focus me, right? I feel like that's an, a trap stitches can fall into. Yeah, your stitches can be tanky as fuck, but if no one decides to attack you because you don't, you're not actually a threat in any way, then are you really, does being tanky matter? The drag does land on Kira. We bring her back into the Orphea ult. Or at least that's what I was going for. She is applying blood to everyone around her. That grappling hook not going to be enough to get away, though. And Gazel up in the top lane. We'll go try to put a stop to that. Don't you fucking attack my sippy cup, dude. I need this. Uh, he can probably dance around me all day, I'm going to be honest. There's probably not too much I can really do about it. I went ahead and popped Adaptation really early there, expecting him to, like, actually want to fight me a little bit, but that doesn't seem like it's on. It just kind of seems like he's ignoring me, dude. Anyone else getting that vibe? Like, he doesn't really give a shit what's going on around him? Anyway, drag connects. We take him down. No big deal at all. Wow, you can really get a lot of essence back with this build. Okay, I can see why people like it. I can see why people like it. It's definitely, it's so much healing. Well, Gazla does finish off that building. During the objective, we didn't push too much as a team. Uh, middle is still standing. We might be able to shove this mini wave in and, and get it done though. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We do lose our Diablo down in the bottom lane. The enemy team's gonna be rotating here. Do we care? Yes. Yes, I've decided that we do indeed care. Let's try not to feed, dude. Let's try not to feed. Level 16. I think I'm going to go for the elongated range. Just to make it a little bit easier to grab my targets. Our drags have been pretty good this game. Hey, bud. This won't be a curse for the enemy team, so we can give it up no problem. I clearly took this mercenary camp by myself with no assistance. Nothing to see here. No big deal. Blaze rotating down. We do see him with our Orphea and our Ariel. We're just going to come down to the party and try to help out a little bit. The drag on Kira is going to connect. We're going to drop her off. I could have done that a little bit smoother and gotten her inside of the um, Orphea ult if I was a little bit faster. Unfortunately, me, a fucking old man hands ruined me, dude. We're going to get another grab on Blaze as he was completely stopped in there as well. Uh, who was fighting this boss? It was me. I took it by myself again, clearly. <laughs> was Lunara just killing... Uh, uh, was she just on the boss ult? <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye on my map for Gazlo. I don't see him up to any goblin things right now, so I'm going to go and try to take this building. Underground. That's another thing, too. You can cancel Burrow whenever you want to. I've been a little slow with it. I haven't been reactivating it really quickly at all. We do see Gazlo reappear in the middle lane, so we know he's not split pushing anything right now. I can grab this and then meet up with the team if you guys want to keep pushing. I mean, it's really up to you. Uh, we are going to have an owl incoming, though. N almost intercepted. Almost. Almost. All right. Feels good, man. Level 18, we're ahead of the enemy team again. We were behind for a little while. Not that it's that big of a deal. We do lose our Diablo. I didn't see what happened. Maybe he was still pushing. I'm going to grab this vision and see if I can maybe steal this camp with some friends. We do have Orphea and Ariel nearby. Hey, bud. We're just going to go ahead and pop adaptation now. Burrow underground to let the adaptation kick in. Grab our guy. We're going to be stunned, but at least it brought him back into melee range. And we'll just go ahead and take that camp. We'll take that camp without a care in the world. Diablo's surrounded in all directions, though. Holy shit, we're going to pop our essence kind of early here. I have no cooldowns to do anything. Dark Swarm finally coming off cooldown. We can try to focus Kira a little bit. The drag does connect. She is stunned right now. We have Essence again because of this ridiculous talent build. We're able to full fucking heal again. Hey, what is that? We have another 
40 fucking essence to heal again. Wow. That's actually amazing. That's actually so... This is so easy, too. I feel like there's no diff there's no challenge with this build either. You just go in. Fuck, dude. Also, can I just say my grab accuracy has been like so good this game? Hello? Now the issue is I guess we wouldn't be collecting any essence versus this guy, so we're still kind of weak tanking PvE stuff, whereas Diablo might be a little bit better tuned for it. But we have 5,000 HP. One. Oh, he's moving. That makes it hard. One, two, three, four, five. Diablo probably has 6,000. Uh, I think we're going to go for <laughs> uh, Essence Claws, maybe? I didn't see what the level 20 most popular pick these days is. Uh, I kind of really like the idea of Essence Claws because it's going to give us even more Essence. And it lets me hit someone. Diablo has 7,000 HP. He just answered us, team. Uh, looks like someone died at the wrong time. The drag once again does land onto Jaina. She's going in the ice block. We'll just go ahead and dodge that. Uh, oh my, auto attack slow now too. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and dodge uh, that laser from Gazlo just dipping under the ground there. No problem at all, nothing to worry about. Two members of the enemy team dead, so I'm gonna keep pushing even though the objective's up. We do have our brush stalker if we need to get in there in a respectable time. Just click on Diablo. My left click is attack move. I can't click on anybody, dude. The drag in the push. Dude, these guys are just getting CC'd to hell. They can't contend. Middle's getting completely rushed down. Boss took over top. We're going to core, dude. We're going to core. Oh, actually, that was a good move, but yeah, we'll just drag him back here. <laughs> Proud of you, team. We'll dive under to avoid that damage. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They found their damage, dude. It's okay, we found their core much sooner than they found their damage. GG, boys. Uh, that felt great. There was nothing difficult about this build either. This would actually be, uh, if you've never played Dahaka before, this would actually be a fantastic place to start. Super duper easy, but super duper fucking tanky too. My God, you could get so much healing with this. I was actually really surprised. So the build, how did we do on damage? Meh. How did we do on healing? Pretty fucking good. Uh, the build, tissue regeneration at level one. I was really on the fence about this one. <laughs> but with all of the other essence creating things we're getting and the passive healing that we're getting, this is actually a really nice compliment on top of it. Then we had Hero Stalker, Symbiosis, Adaptation, Primal Swarm, Elongated Tongue, and Essence Claws. I only tried out Dahaka because someone in chat was talking about it today. And I'm pretty happy that I did. I'm pleasantly surprised. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's game. Uh, I do this thing on Twitch called Viewer Game Tuesday. It's not always on Tuesday, but this week it was. So if you want to stop by and catch these games live, that's that's where you do it. Okay, bye!